Warmind is now live and we are in season three of Destiny 2 and I'm going to show you guys what is available for this new season three weekly reset and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you enjoy learning all things about Destiny, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell. That way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So, it is the weekly reset and as I have said, it is season 3 and I do got my good friend liking here. And we do have a lot of new things coming to Destiny 2 for the Warmind DLC. Obviously, you have all these wonderful prompts, but we're going to get to it in just a moment. But first and foremost, let's go ahead and start with the map. As you guys can see, Mars is located on the map, and you actually can just go straight into the campaign. And it starts with Ice and Shadow. However, like I said, this is the wonderful weekly reset, so we are going to go over the milestones first. First off, we have Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, Crucible, and World Activities. Then we have the Leviathan, which you need to complete the Raid, or the Raid Lairs or Raid Lair, because apparently the new one isn't even available yet. Most likely, it'll probably be available on Friday uh, this week or probably next week. But I guess we'll see. Or, actually, it may even be available after you beat the campaign. There's a possibility for that, too. Next, we have Call to Arms, which you win glory by participating in Crucible matches. After that is the Nightfall, and this week's weekly Nightfall is... The Arms Dealer. And then we have Flashpoint is on Nessus. If you do the heroic versions of those, then you can get it done faster. Then we actually have a new node in the milestones called Warmind, which you need to complete missions, uh, oh, complete mission, Ice and Shadow on Mars. Then your Nessus challenges, we have, you need to complete three challenges on Nessus, three heroic strikes for the uh, heroic strikes. Then your seasonal rankings. We actually have to go visit Lord Shax, and we're going to go do that in just a moment, as well as changing seasons with Tess Everest at the Eververse. So let's go ahead and go to the Traveler right now. Oh, and double check, make sure you have room in your emblem slot, because you're definitely going to need that. So we are going to start with Tess Everest at the Eververse, see what she has this week. We have changing seasons, and then we also have a gift from Tess. You get a prototype engram and a prismatic facet, or faucet, however you want to say it. I don't know. Let's see what this prototype engram go ahead and gives us. We get a uh, fiery Phoenician and crimson passion with two other wonderful things that I really don't care about. So we have networks, a uh, new thing called prismatic matrix, and we're going to go ahead and look at that. If I'm correct, this is a whole bunch of stuff that you do not have, and it reads, The Prismatic Matrix connects uh, to new distribution nodes for the duration of a week, with each activation guaranteeing an item never previously acquired from the Eververse stock. Current connections expire in six days. So, let's actually go over the uh, stuff that we get for the week. We do have the uh, Opulent Clap. For an emote. And then we have the cranking dance. For the vehicle, we have the mine bar uh, barrage. Or barge, sorry. <laughs> I'm terrible. Shit, we have the Space Age Lancelot. Another reskin. Then we have the uh, Jade Wim, or whatever, it's, it's a ship. <laughs> Blaster Box. And Weapon of the Week, we have this wonderful thing for the Warlock. And it's Gauntlets. For ornaments, we have Book of the Dead. For that wonderful, uh, what is it called? Uh, Vigilance Wing. And then we also have Silver Bullet for the Crimson. 
two transmat effects, gold beam effects, as well as uh, ghost white. And then we have your noble constant red, uh, dawn and dusk, arctic pearl, as well as uh, monochromatic. These are all old shaders, so yeah, it's nothing new to that. Then we have your gleaming boon of the vanguard, of the crucible, as well as fire team medallion. Now, one thing I wanted to double check before was the vault. We have a lot more vault space. We have 100 more spaces in the vault. So, yeah, it's definitely a lot more to uh, fill up. Now, let's go to Lord Shax. Seasonal rankings. We'll go ahead and grab that from him. We get our Season 3 Valor as well as uh, For Glory as well. And we have new Crucible rewards. You guys want to go ahead and read these because it is definitely important that you do so in order to find out how to get them. Commander Zavala also has new gear for Season 3. And I just want to say most likely all the vendors do. Or at least the ones at the tower do. So yeah, definitely go ahead. Ooh, Zavala has a ship now. Sorry, ADD just kicked in. And it pretty much looks like Ikora's ship. Just a little bit different. I like the purple turbines on it though. Do not forget to visit Cade 6 because he does have uh, these wonderful treasure maps. And this week it's on Nessus, so go ahead and grab all of those for 4800 Glimmer. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time. I'm going to go play me some Warmind.